Grand Rising family, welcome to your Monday the 21st. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Um, today is my day off, but not really because I have clients and uh, readings and things to do. So, but I did get to sleep in a bit this morning, not wake up at five in the morning, which is nice. <laughs> I hope everyone got some rest this weekend as well. All right, let's just get started. I want to thank everyone for your donations. I only have availabilities uh, now. I'm booked up on the 28th. Now my next available will be on the 4th. Monday the 4th will be my next, November 4th. That will be my next available opening. So if you guys would like to schedule, um, that will be when to do it on my on my website. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, donating to the channel, commenting below and sending decks. It really does how you can support me. It's how we can support each other. It really does help. So God bless you, fam. All right, let's get started. Here with uh, the Divine Masculine's energy for Monday. What is? I split the deck to appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. There's still a lot of masculines out there that are very much focused on their career, their priorities, their responsibilities, and not very open to love, okay? Um, but they are, but they're not, right? So let's see here. Let's see. Uh, they are like slightly, they feel the calling and the pull in their soul and their heart to, you know, attract in a good, a good partner, a good relationship, but you know, they're still not, not making time for it. Right. So not making that much time. And it's important to have that balance. It's important to make time for love. Okay, because love is the highest vibration of all. Yes, some people will say that love doesn't pay the bills, but you sure are happier paying it when you are in love. You sure are happier going to work every day when you are in love. You look forward to, you know, uh, it's like you feel inspired to do more for yourself when you when you have somebody to share your life with, when you have somebody to share, you know, um, To share your your visions, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, your what you're working so hard for, right? So I split the deck. We have miracles and blessings here for the divine masculine. Every day is a gift. And then we have spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Here it is, right? It defies explanation. So a very beautiful spiritual connection for this uh, divine masculine here. It's a miracle to them. They find it to be a miracle. I heard this, this is a fairy tale. It's too good to, it, you know, it feels, it seems too good to be true, right? I never felt love like this before. The depth of it can be inspiring, but also overwhelming. All right, what else here for the divine masculine? Actually, no, spirit. This is a divine feminine now. I need to ground my energy today. Spend some time in nature. <clears throat> Do some root chakra meditations. We have have faith here. Trust your faith in this situation. I want to keep that. Wow, look at that. I just talked about that. Take a chance. I don't know if it was in this reading. It could have been. I need a ground. Or if it was in the Aquarius reading that I did. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. Okay? So huge message about that. To take a chance on love. Can I have one more for the Divine Feminine Spirit, please? Just one spirit, please. Focus on love and be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show that you care. Make a genuine effort to show that you care. Take a chance on love, right? And make an effort here towards somebody you care about to show that you care. Number nine, number six, number three, number five. Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. Ugh, some people make it hard, right? But look for the light and look for the good. Do good deeds, okay? Uh, acts of service, right? Good deeds and focus on keep coming back to love. Ask yourself, what would love do? How can you bring love into the situation, okay? And offer your support. 
and help to those who need it. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> so faith, having a faith, have faith and take a chance on love. <laughs> to, uh, what is it? A leap of faith, a leap of faith, taking a leap of faith. Lots of butterflies here. Wow, it got cold in here all of a sudden. All right, show me the Divine Masculine's energy here for Monday. Look at that. Moving to calmer waters here. Some of them are actually moving in transition. Calm, calmer, peace of mind, going towards peace of mind, tranquil seas, getting out of turbulent waters, right? Learning some lessons here from the past and moving forward. All right. So we have, let's show, I did see, look at that, taking a leap of faith, a brand new beginning here for the divine masculine. Taking a leap of faith, experiencing the miracles and the blessing of what this spirit going through and awakening, what this spiritual connection entails, seeing the gifts, the value and the treasure in this connection, embracing it. All right. What else here for this divine masculine energy for Monday? Wow, Ace of Wands. It's, it is a call to action. Feeling inspired, rising to the occasion. <laughs> Feeling inspired here, okay? A spark of, of inspiration. Passion ignites. The flames of passion ignites that's pushing this masculine on and forward here, okay? Uh, a magnetic pull. <clears throat> Sacral energy. We have Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Finances, family, generational wealth, legacy, empire, long-term security and stability here, financial freedom. Okay, marriage, long-term relationship. Let's see what this is about. Clarify the fool. Yeah, so there's somebody here is definitely wanting to seize an opportunity here. There is that past life soulmate energy having nostalgia. Okay. Uh, this is talking about compromise here, working together, getting to know, okay. Building, spending quality time, partnerships and alliances. Could that actually didn't jump? Well, it flipped, but this was the one that jumped here, the Knight of Swords. So wanting to rush in to communicate, I have stuff to say. I'm just going to do it. It's instinctual. I'm just going to do it. I want to come in here. A very beautiful connection here that is helping this masculine here to move towards their north node okay uh clarify this ace of wands ace of wands clarify this ace of wands the tower the tower then i say i think that's what i said um in the other reading that the tower is pushing this masculine off the cliff here, bringing in a new beginning, okay? Bringing this person back to reality, king of pentacles, bringing them back to reality here, uh, uh, going through a uh, perspective shift. There's a huge, major, unexpected change and shift, fast changes here that's taking place. It's a miracle, <laughs> the impossible miracle, right? So, yeah, this, this is a runner. This is somebody here that lacks confidence, that's insecure, doesn't lack consciousness, okay? Self-deception here is a, a hider, an avoidant, okay, because they're not feeling good enough, because they're not feeling safe, secure in their own energy. Hide, they hide behind material things. Again, a faulty foundation, right, that they have built based on what looks good on the outside, right? But they're 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 hiding a lot of insecurities, a lot of fear, a lot of lack of consciousness here. Okay. Uh again, just a lot of deception here in this person's energy, but that's coming crumbling down because they can't deny this passion that they feel, the fire that's in their soul here that's lighting up the way for them, right? They're gonna seize this opportunity. That's what it's looking like. Clarify the ten of wands. Again, relationships built on money, right, and status, and 
materialism and superficiality is what the when the tower comes in somebody got an epiphany a revelation and aha moment especially clarifying this and that's what's moving them forward clarify the ten of pentacles a king of cups somebody fell in love hiding a lot of deep feelings hiding a lot here okay Trying to hold on to nothing, basically. This lack mindset, this greediness, this selfishness energy here, okay? Um, this person here, I'm getting here, this person here has the, the material, you know, has a success in the material world, but it's like they're hiding a lot of insecurities, lack of self-worth, lack of self-esteem, okay? Lack consciousness and scarcity mindset. But again, it feels like this has been the journey. This journey that you're on is the journey of, of you know, aligning with unconditional love to open the heart. It is the journey, is a heart opening journey, okay? To bring us back to love, to bring us back to unconditional love, to fully accept ourselves and ascend into our self-worth. King of Cups, clarify this King of Cups. This King of Cups is in love, but keeping it to themselves. Clarify this King of Cups. They have secret plans, okay, with the Seven of Swords. Clarify this King of Cups. We have the Three of Cups. Yeah, there is an ending of some kind of third party here situation, okay? Not letting anybody else interfere or get in, in between or involved or to stop this person. Yeah, this person here with the Nine of Swords and the, the Ten of Swords is a good card. That means that we're finally getting a relief from whatever it is that's keeping us up at night. This person struggles to fall asleep. They toss and they turn. So they wake up in the middle of the night. They may have nightmares or sleep paralysis. Okay, this person here, you know, when they're at home and in bed at night is whenever it all comes crashing down, all their worries fears anxiety that they can't ruminating thoughts intrusive thoughts too much worry about the past too much worry about the future okay but it's like the sun is coming out okay this person is getting a relief from this clarify the three of three of cups here yeah calming down their thoughts thinking a lot about this resting and recovering before some kind of reunion some kind of reconciliation here okay so I'm making a decision again the four of swords comes after the three of swords okay so three of swords is heartache and pain we have the emperor the divine mask on taking authority taking initiative taking control very disciplined but also somebody that's very domineering and controlling as well right this person maybe a father a business owner Okay, as well. Yeah, three of swords there coming out of this. Tell me about this. Clarify this, Emperor. Yeah, spending a lot of time, no communication in retreat. Spending a lot of time. They may have other people in their ear, okay, influencing them. Okay, they could be spending time with friends and family right now, but I'm getting here. They're retreating, blocking out distractions, spending time and overanalyzing something here. They're spending a lot of time overanalyzing something here, paying attention to every detail of everything. Very mercurial, right? Going, you know, introspecting here, spending time going within. No communication. This is a time for reflection, right? So they can get whatever clarity that they're seeking, the answers that they're seeking from within here. Again, they're retreating. They're retreating here, okay? But that's not going to be for long because we have the tower. It's a sudden unexpected change. They're all of a sudden after this retreat, after seeking answers and them getting the clarity that they're seeking, the epiphany, the aha moment. The revelation, whatever that they're seeking and searching, that they're getting their discovery, they're going to take action here. The tower. What is this tower? Yeah, putting them in a new direction, a decision. Again, it's time. It's time. The universe is saying it's time. 
Okay, a lot of thinking and ruminating and revisiting and, and reassessing here on what to do next. Okay, do I have everything that I need? Should I invest in this? Should I continue to invest in this? But the decision is being made and this tower is putting this person in a completely different direction here. It's time to come out of one's comfort zone and take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith, right? What is this Knight of Swords? So that's the decision Karmic, karmically here. The universe is bringing this person's uh, life into balance here, doing the right thing, the honorable thing, the respectful thing, right? The integral thing here, okay? This is karma. This is karma trying to balance out in this person's life. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Okay, it's a stop and go. So this person here is going to rush in with this communication. But again, it feels like it's... the. After that, again, it's going to feel like th that's what's changing. That's what's changing here. What's changing here is this person may have been impulsive when it comes to the rushing in and rushing out. But this time what's different is, is this person is going to seize the opportunity. It's going to take inspired action here with this Ace of Wands, right? Instinctual and just going to go for it when it comes to, you know, the communication, but it, what's different is we're going to be steady and consistent with it after we take this initial step. I'm also getting this person is going from procrastinating to all of a sudden it's going to be a sudden change, an unexpected surprise after this person spent time thinking, going within, reflecting, doing soul searching, introspecting after a period of quiet and silence of ghosting or no communication, right? All of a sudden this person is, the tower comes in and it puts this person in, on a new direct, going to move this person over the cliff. And it is a victory here when it comes to this union. <clears throat> Let's see. Don't second guess. I picked up a deck and then I put it down. I picked another one up. I said, don't second guess. Don't second guess yourself. Okay. When your intuition guides you. I also was guided to another deck that um, I haven't picked up yet. But it showed, but the spirit showed it to me in my mind's eye. Tell me about, this was the first deck I went to, inner fears. This person has a lot of fears. Tell me about this divine masculine, this emperor. Clarify. This person is in secret love. Secret love. I can't stop thinking about you. Clarify this emperor. Love at first sight. <laughs> final shot. The final shot. Now is the time. I said it. Now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, you will always wonder what if they're going to shoot it. Shooting their shot. The, the instant gravitational pull you two felt when first meeting lets you know that this is a soul connection, spiritual connection, a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. This is a very special connection, right? It's a soul contract here. And again, surrender and let God do God things that the universe do universe things here, okay? Because this person here, the attraction is so strong. Your captivating energy makes you attractive. You wear confidence well. It's your confidence attracting this person. And clarify this King of Cups. This person's vulnerability here is very attractive. And this is what they're the most afraid of. King of Cups. Law of attraction. <laughs> Law of attraction. We That came out for Aquarius energy. Like attracts like. We attract what we are. Okay, so if you want more love, you got to be more loving. King of Cups to manifest your perfect match. Be, be, but you matter. Let me use this. Uh, let me re, let me reread this. <laughs> <laughs> we attract what we are. Use the law of attraction to manifest your perfect match by being the perfect match to yourself first. 
So again, so the yin to your yang, I heard. So again, right? This is what you like recognize yourselves in each other, okay? So again, until this person is actually matching your vibrational frequency here, this is what I feel that they are working on. They're working on matching your vibrational frequency is what it's looking like, okay? Until that happens, right? It, this is still, the magnets are still gonna repel. So remember, resistance, look, there's an offer coming. Resistance, a long-awaited, if things are finally moving forward, things are finally moving here with the help of the universe, divine intervention. Show me this emperor spirit. All of a sudden, I got all this stuff to get off my chest. Let's clarify this emperor. Awakening. There. Uh huh. Look at this with the four of wands. I'm sorry. With the four of swords and the hot and the hermit, Virgo, Aries energy here, Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio, uh, Aries, Aquarius, uh, Virgo. <clears throat> That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, again, some of you guys like that for additional confirmation. It doesn't, if again, they could have that in their chart, family doesn't have to be. Uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, Mars. Okay. Uh, we have awakening here. Going through their awakening. Didn't I say that with the tower? Going through a huge epiphany regarding their worth. Regarding their worth. Their value. Settling. Settling person. Remember we saw that with the five of pentacles, four of pentacles, seven of swords. Lying to themselves. Pretending. Okay. Living life. Living a superficial materialistic life. Living, living for the money only. You know, staying in situations for, for codependent reasons because they need somebody, they depend on somebody else for their security, their stability. Meanwhile, being miserable in their life, okay, being up ten, nine of swords, uh, you know, with anxiety, un, uh, paral uh, I heard sleep paralysis, this person, because they're so tormented uh, with their unhappiness, uneasy, unsettled, because they're not in alignment. They're, they're in the wrong life, the tower. They're not in alignment with their divine assignment. They're not following their soul, their, their destined path. They're not following their higher self. They're not following their intuition. Depression comes from that, you know? So them going within here, taking a minute to for themselves here, they're waking up. They're seeing, they're, they're discovering the truth. The answers are coming to them. See the, the star in the lantern, you know, hope there's a light, their light, the light's coming from within this person. They're discovering hidden treasures, right? And the dark is where the treasures lie. So this person has been spending some time. They're coming out of the dark night of the soul. Everything has to do with, this is what this journey is about. The journey of the heart, right? But it's also about self-worth and self-love for this person. Their vibration is rising into the vibration of love. Let's see. Look at the bottom of the deck. Things are brewing up. <laughs> Be ready to expect the unexpected, the tower, because something is brewing and gaining momentum. It sure is. And they're going to hop on that momentum. They're going to hop on the wave. Tell me about this divine masculine here. This uh, emperor, king of cups, back and forth, back and forth between two different extremes, okay? This is confidence here, right? Something is happening here, fam. Something is definitely happening. Expect the unexpected here. Expect uh, a, a huge change. Expect this huge surprise. Clarify this emperor. Choices, yeah. There's a choice they have to make. They know the time is, is, is right here. My gosh, tick tock time. The clock is ticking. Holy, you may have already started looking for other options. Okay. Or not looking for other options, exploring your other options. That's what they're feeling. Now's the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, you'll always wonder what if. 
This person's going to miss is there, that that's the freak out energy here. That's the sense of urgency is this person feels like they're going to miss their opportunity. They're going to miss their chance with you. Take a chance on love right here. There is a choice they have to make. They know the time is not on their side and they risk losing you forever. If they don't, that's the sense of urgency. That's what I'm getting here from this person with the, the sense of urgency here because they, 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 they fear losing you forever. And I have one more on this Emperor King of Cups. Resurrection. Holy. That's this. That's this. Uh, oh, my God. Passion ignited. That's the Six of Wands. Yep. Here they come. The gods favor you. Yeah, this person's coming out of feeling lack of faith. Because why? They're divinely guided here. They're divinely guided. Huh? Huh? Look at this breakthrough. Okay. The gods favor you. Passion ignited. Now's the time. Again, I, I cannot make this stuff up. Now's the time twice. Now's the time twice. Okay, this person is matching your vibration now. Now's the time. Your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. Now's the time for this action. Resurrection jumped. What you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. Do you believe, right? Again, I was telling the Aquarius Collective, sometimes it's hard for us to believe, you know, in the things that we're not seeing manifest in the 3D, but the universe is sending you signs, synchronicities to show you that it's coming, to show you that it's here already. Okay. Sometimes we're distracted. We're not focused. We're not grounded. So we could be missing the, the messages that the universe is sending us that something is, you could be seeing an influx, uh, uh, of angel numbers all of a sudden you, you see them all day or double the same numbers. That means momentum, momentum, momentum also means ground, ground, ground. Okay. That's what that means. That means something is up. Something's about to change. Something is coming. Those are your signs as we, you, again, you could be caught up in the mundane and the material world and the, you know, distractions and things like that and miss the signs, right? But look, passion has ignited for this masculine here. It's what it's an undeniable, okay? It's undeniable whenever you feel that rush of energy or that strong craving or that yearning or the soul yearning or that pull in the soul or that instinctual, right? Like I gotta do this now. Like I don't know why, but I gotta do this now. Their intense sexual desire towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. This person knows that they love you, okay? They because they can't let you go. It's it's clear as day. It's clear as day. So it's a miracle. <laughs> it's a blessing. It's a miracle, okay? They're in the they're in the the middle here of making a huge decision, and they 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 you're gonna end up with this person, okay? That's that's the energy that I'm getting here. The gods favor you. The time is now. And the reason why this is, has everything to do with them. We saw the five of pentacles, the four of pentacles, the seven of swords of them not feeling worthy of you. That's what this was about. Okay. This, this delay, this, uh, resistance, the fears that this person, you know, they don't, cause them didn't feel good enough for you. Okay. Let me get a message for this masculine from, from spirit. So thank you for liking. I'm hoping that the views go up um, on our, our, the views and goes up on our dailies family. So I can continue to do the dailies. I want to continue to do the dailies. So every time you guys comment below, like, share, subscribe, it does help. Because I love doing the dailies. I've been, I've been consistently and committed to doing the dailies for you guys for over a year now, every day, not missing a day un uh, unless I moved or I was sick. But other than that, um, I I've been doing, I've been connecting here with you guys every day. So for every person that's been here with me every single day for over a year, I love you guys. Thank you for your devotion, your loyalty, your support, your love you send my way. What is the guidance for the divine masculine here? We are only getting better and better with time. We have good news here. Good news is coming your way. Something beautiful is about to manifest. Feelings of elation like you're on a cloud. It's time to celebrate. Right here, it could be a money news. It could be a family news. Okay, it could be 
whatever it is that's coming into this person is moving them forward. Whatever this good news is, this is probably what they have been waiting on. It's time to celebrate all the wonder and beauty of life. Beautiful. You are soaring to new heights. This person is soaring to new heights. Allow your spirit of freedom. The, allow your spirit the freedom to explore new and exciting possibilities for your life. Follow the rainbow across the horizon. A pot of gold awaits. All right. Divine feminine. Have faith. Take a chance on love. They are. You're being guided. You got the ace of wands here your, yourself. They have the ace of wands. You have the ace of wands. Take a chance on love. All right. Okay, for the divine feminine here. Oh, wow. Yeah, expect change here. Okay, expect change. Fast incoming change. Fast incoming change. Eight of wands coming your way. Communication, travel, pa arrows of love, a lot of passion. What else here for the divine feminine? Momentum of energy. We have the higher font, death card, transformation, rebirth. Something is ending, so something can come in. Could be an old belief system, a marriage for some of you guys, old way, uh, uh, some kind of traditional, def definitely a, a, a spiritual awakening with the higher font and the death card. We have Taurus and Scorpio, they're opposite signs. So, opposing forces look something is ending so something new can come in so a new beginning in love it could be them that they're ending something here and coming fast towards you we have the fool here the fool here right on their side so let's clarify you may have taurus or scorpio in your chart it doesn't have to be but it could be an ending of a relationship or some kind of traditional belief system i don't know what that is some kind of traditional belief system. Oh, what a bug. Eight of wands. Wow. Two of cups here. Spiritual union. Spiritual union. Communication. Coming into union. Have faith, right? Your faith is what is uh, is bringing this together, okay? And Spirit is saying, take a chance. Take a chance. Look, it's the end of delays. It's the end of delays. A clarified death. I just saw the hanged man. Wow. A lot of healing. Resurrection for sure. Mending reconciliation with the soulmate here with the temperance card. Union. Of the masculine and the feminine, the yin and the yang, the water and the fire, which is very twin flamey, right? So there's, again, this is the good news. There's communication coming in. There's the wand. There's the wand. They're grabbing the wand. They're coming in to talk. Okay. They may, they, this person is very devoted to you with the higher fun here, but it feels like they have gained some kind of wisdom and learned some kind of lesson. But this communication here for this union is going to be very lighthearted and very playful. They're coming in lighthearted energy, okay? They're coming in lighthearted energy. They might, again, be careful with love bombing and wanting to move really fast. I'm getting an energy of needing to slow down. Patience here with temperance. Clarify the two of cups. Yeah, you, it feels like you're gonna, you know, you're in queen of swords when this come in, comes in. You are, but spirit is saying, open up to love, take a chance on love. Cause when we love or lower your sword, I mean, yeah, set your boundary, speak your truth clearly, focus on love, see the light, look for the good in everyone. Okay. Um, take it slow. Okay. Let this person show you I'm getting, let this person build the trust from the bottom up. You have every reason to have your sword up. This is talking about communicating clearly, setting your boundaries, okay? Asking the questions, right? 
but again, speaking your truth clearly with kindness and with love. Page of Wands. Clarify the Page of Wands, please, Spirit. This is not dead. Resurrection, what you thought to be lost forever, will come back again, and you will witness the impossible made possible. So this person is coming in fired up with passion. Page of Wands. It's hard for you to let this go, but I feel like you're in your power. Because the love is still there. The energetic cords is still there. The energetic cords is still there that you have with this person. It has, but I know you're trying to cut it. But again, I just feel like just by you accepting the situation exactly as it is and knowing that you don't have to force anything, that what's for you will be for you and it won't pass you by, right? And you just standing strong in your self-respect here. And, and, and not wavering on your vision and what you want for yourself while still focusing on love, you know, um, again, right. Just speaking what you want and what you don't want, mostly what you want and not wavering on that, you know, and this or better, right. If this person doesn't show up for you in the way that you deserve, you know, you keep exploring your options, right? Yeah. Look, if they don't show up for you in the way that you deserve, keep walking, you know, emotionally detach and move and move to, to the, towards the light, towards the, towards what is emotionally fulfilling to you. Okay. It could be them leaving behind, you know, some kind of third party situation here. Uh, third party could mean family, friends, job, right? Whatever it is that this masculine was prioritizing, over you. I feel like you also have been focused on your priorities. You also have been focused on your abundance, on your prosperity, on your stability, security, your money, right? Feels that way. It feels like, but again, I was talking to somebody about that today, how important it is to make time for love, which is a great balance, right? To be open to love, to make time for it. You know, I'm working seven days a week, Yes, I'm off from my other job today, but I am still here working on YouTube. I have clients, you know, so it's like, and, and if I have one day to get my, my house in order and get things done here around the house and work out, go to the gym and do other things, that's still me, you know, needing to still get pencil in a schedule in time for love, time to date, things like that, right? It's important to have that balance. Okay. Page of Wands. Yeah, to the yeah, exactly. Take a chance on love. Uh huh. I think you said what you needed to say in this communication here regarding where you stand and what you want. Again, right? But there is love here. A lot of love. So again, I feel like you are receive. This person is hoping that you're going to receive them when Queen of Cups energy. Okay. It feels like you guys are finally on the same page. Law of attraction here, seeing eye to eye on, on, you know, on the things you, you, you spoke about, right. And now you're emotionally, extremely mature and emotionally intelligent here. You're manifesting your heart and your mind's on the same page. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm getting here. You're manifesting beautifully here. So being patient with the process is the opportunity to heal. Yeah, you haven't been given up. Okay, you're persevering. You're almost there. Temperance, clarify temperance. Yep, walking away to heal from, from everything that's no longer ending. Walking away from what's no longer serving you here, okay? And moving to more balanced, reciprocal relationships, leaving the past behind, moving towards healing, harmony, peace, and balance. That's the decision moving towards independence. Okay. Yeah. And this, your, your, what was that message at the bottom of the deck? We saw that your independence, right? Is attraction, very attracted to you. your independence. Your confidence is very attractive you, what you, your boundary that you set is very attractive. Okay. They're attracted to your self love. You're, you're inspiring this person. You leaving behind, you know, people that doesn't 
respect your boundaries, including them, is very attractive. So here they come. They have their eye on you. Single, independent, thriving, flourishing, taking good care of your body, your health, looking good, smelling good, taking good care of yourself, have a good head on your shoulder, standing strong. Okay. And, um, it's definitely motivating, inspiring somebody here to take action towards you. This, this person here is their flames of passions ignited. Okay. This is attractive energy. That's why this is attractive energy here. Yeah, this is somebody you have a very strong psychic and spiritual connection, agape love, innocent love, unconditional love with, okay? Like they keep being magnetically drawn and pulled to you, very focused on you here. Okay, you're being magnetically drawn to 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 innocent love here. Clarify this king of wands. Yeah, it's like this, moving to calmer waters. It's like this. Look, this is how it fell. They see you moving on. Again, they don't want to, again, tick tock. Time is, is, they risk losing you. They see you like this, single and independent and very attractive, moving on, walking away. They see that how much you transformed, how much you healed here. And, and that's what's causing them to come in. They've been dreaming a lot about you. Okay. They want to rep. Look, they want for, they're afraid that they're going to miss their chance with you. Miss chances. They want to reconcile forgiveness and heal. They, again, they're vivid dreams, right? Haunting them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on to somebody else. Okay. It's what I'm getting here. So they want, they, they want, again, they want to come. Their higher self is guiding them. This person's in love with you. They fell in love with you. Falling in love. Their higher self is guiding them very strongly. They're being guided to face their inner fears and to work on their feeling good enough wound. That's what I'm getting here. They see you moving on. They see you moving on and you are moving on. Okay. You're stronger now. You're, you have become a empowered empath. You're no longer no one's doormat. You're no longer being stepped on, walked on, taken advantage of. So here we go. Here we go. Yep. There's a manifest. Holy sudden impact. Brace yourself to expect the unexpected here. Good news coming in. It's going to be up to you, beautiful ones. All right, look at that emotional breakthrough at the bottom of the deck. That's what this person is getting, a breakthrough. Didn't we see that? We saw a breakthrough card. Emotional transformation, release, freedom. It's safe for you to express how you feel. Let it all out. Knight of swords, relationships deepen as a result. They're about to let it all out. Okay, <laughs> now's the time. What else here? for the? Uh, what is the message for the divine feminine? I gotta go, I have a client right now. What is the message here for the divine feminine? Do not lose sight of your original intention. Check inside your heart to see if the path you are traveling fits your original hopes and aspirations. If not, take action to control and steer your life back on course. That's very important to stick to your intention. Okay. If it, if you're not on the same, if you're, if you're not in alignment with the intention you set for yourself, steer yourself back. Okay. Enjoy the journey of life. Do not be afraid of its mysteries. Take a chance and follow your heart. You are guided and protected by Quan Yin, goddess of mercy, compassion, and transformation. Quan Yin. If you've been wavering about proceeding with something that is dear with you, this is your confirmation to just do it. Take a chance on love. Beautiful reading today. Wow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you. God bless you. And I'm going to stay much love fam.